matter, the thing which Mr. Kinney mentioned about character. Somebody was good enough to pull something out of my Google and say, Dare te iti dharma. That which sustains life is dharma. Character building. I can go on, I don't want to. I want to finish all the loss of time we had in starting late and speaking long. I want to finish quickly by telling you that there are things which worry me because I go to various management institutions, some of the things which worry me. Young people today do not have an adequate command of the English language. Even your student president wrote, read a written speech. Where is he? And even the new young lady from the School of Media and Communication, I thought she at least would deliver a text tempo. She also read a written speech. When will you people learn the ability to speak extempore. I think one of the thing, most important things which you must learn, and that requires, that confidence requires a confidence in the, your English language. How do you improve your English language? How do you learn technology? Not merely for, as I said, passing SMSs, but for the substance of work and life. How do you learn technology? I think you people must learn to know something of everything and everything of something. That is my request to you, my suggestion to you. There are new emerging areas all over the world. Biotechnology, nanotechnology, and in the social sector, conflict management. What produces terrorism? All of you or some of you must at least learn what terrorism is made of, what is its origin? What is terrorism? Terrorism is the infliction by somebody of extraordinary violence on some unconcerned, unknown person in order to create a fear psychosis. How do you deal with terrorism? I want to suggest that some of you must learn fundamental, basic Einsteinian creativity. Creativity not of adding delta to something which is already known and done, but something out of the blue. Imagine you were 20, 25 years ago and the internet had not come into operation, the fellow who found out internet. That was creativity. Now I would expect that out of the 150 or 100 and 200 people who are coming out of this college in the next two, three years, one, two people would do creativity in any field at all. I don't mind want to mention any field at all. It could be sciences, it could be technology, it could be art, it could be anything at all. Creativity. And there is a whole new subject raging there in the outer marketplace, which is called creativity and knowledge management. The management of knowledge. Today we are in the process of a meltdown, but India is not melting down as much as many others are melting down, many others have gone into negative growth. China and India have not gone into negative growth, China because of its sheer size. India, because its growth has been in the management of knowledge. And that is the critical issue which you people are going to learn. I can suggest to you that Dr. Pankaj Gupta and his colleagues must go into new areas of management. The management of education. How do you create a vidya? Uh, somebody who can manage education. The country will need them. How do you manage health? Vidya. How do you manage tourism? How do you manage whole varieties of other things? How do you manage democracy? How do you manage a democrat who according to the TV screen slapped the bank employee on his face this morning? In Andhra, an MP slapped the bank employee on his face this morning. You talk about the fantastic way in which we conduct elections, the world's best elections, the world's biggest elections, a great festival, etc., etc., Operation Successful Patient Dead. <laughs> Do we have a free, useful democracy? We don't have a democracy. Painful, sorrowful matter. But again, I don't have the time to expatiate upon it. Some amongst you must become the source from which emerges an Indian democracy, which is truly a democracy. I can go on.
but I don't want to. There is a, perhaps a feeling among the SIM, SIM, SIBM, SIBM Bangalore, saying, are we poor country cousins of SIBM Pune? Are we second class SIBM from Bangalore? Why is there a feeble no? All of you are hungry. <laughs> the quality of this institution will depend upon what you make out of it. There is just so much that teachers and faculty can do. One man can take the horse to the water. Twenty cannot make him drink. It's up to you to convert this institution to be able to say, look, we may be young, we may be new, but we are the best. That is the journey on which you are starting today. And I will conclude by saying, from the Upanishad, some Gatshadvam travel well, some Vadadvam speak well, some Om Anamsi Janakam, may your minds be in good unison all words. Some Gatshadvam, some Vadadvam, some Om Anamsi Janakam. Dr. Mazumdar, Mazumdar referred to the Bhagavad Gita. I want to mention this to you today. You may be Hindu, you may be Christian, you may be Muslim. Certainly I read the Quran every day. I read the Bible, I have read so much of the Bible that I know as much Bible as I know the Gita. There is a part of the Bible called the Proverbs. Go and read that. How many beautiful couplets are there in the Proverbs in the Bible? A soft word turneth away wrath. Foolish words stir up anger. With what shall it be salted then? With the salt loses its salt, salt savory. With the salt, I'm sorry, of what shall it, what shall it benefit a man if the salt loses its flavor? Agar namak mein namkeen yet nahi hai, namkeen cheese banayenge kaise? So I want to mention to you, please read the Gita. If you have nothing else to read, read the Gita. Read any one shloka of the Gita. There are 700 shlokas, you read them. Every time you read a Gita shloka in the Gita, you will get one more understanding. An understanding of your existence. An understanding in the first six chapters of the Gita of praising God by doing work. The next six chapters of praising God by knowledge. In the last six chapters of race, loving God, realizing God by sheer devotion. Well, I want to stop there because as I said, there are not many items left. There is only mementos to guess, gifts and the vote of thanks. <laughs> huh? Shall I render the vote of thanks? <laughs> no, I shall not take away somebody else's job. So please go ahead. Please put your head up. Please put your chin up. If you, even if you come back to the hostel after 11 o'clock, don't get caught. <laughs> I used to live in a hostel in the Madras Christian College. And the warden one day rang up and said, these boys are coming back from the movies at 1 o'clock in the night, catch hold of them. So I caught them. Not with my own instance, at the instance of the warden. So next day the students kindly got together and took a plastic mug and mixed in it several bits and pieces of egg, egg white, egg yellow. There was a jolly work on top of my door. I was sitting there reading for the IAS. So they took this mug of muck and threw it into the room. Don't do that. <laughs> If anybody catches you, ask them not to punish you, but don't get caught. No, 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 don't go to a movie late at night. Why should you go to a movie if you turn on the TV? Are they allowed to have TV? Yes. Discord and voices. Doesn't matter. Are they allowed to have internet? Yes. And do they misuse it thoroughly? Yes. Please go ahead and establish yourself as the best batch and let the word come out in 5 years, 10 years, 15 years, time from today, 25 years, time from today, that the SIBM, SIMC batch of 2009-2011 was the best batch. Good luck, Godspeed.
שכאלה. 